One big story to keep an eye on a major trial and anyone who has an interest in digital currency and our financial system should pay attention. 11 Alive's Faith Jesse has more. The trial currently underway in New York City of disgraced crypto exchange co-founder Sam Bankman Freed, or SBF, as he's commonly known, has captivated a global audience. As we approach the midway point in what many have described as the next trial of the century, the implications are being felt everywhere from Washington, D.C. to Hong Kong to right here in Atlanta. Joining me now is Greg Johnson, NYU professor and founder of Rubicon Digital Assets right here in Metro Atlanta to offer his perspective on this trial and share his insights on other major industry headlines. Greg, thanks so much for being here today. Well, Faith, it's terrific to be with you. And, and you said it. A lot of people are talking about this as if it were the next trial in the century for the century. And with good reason. I mean, anytime you can have a riches to rag story with a gentleman who just two years ago graced the cover of Forbes magazine as the richest person under 30 with an estimated fortune then at $62 billion, a story that involves celebrities that range from Larry David uh, to Tom Brady. You can have betrayal in the workplace, inappropriate uh, affairs in the workplace, polyamory and new age philanthropy in one story. That is why people are calling it the trial of the century. And for many people who remember the Bernie Madoff scandal, the size and scale of the dollars and the harm involved is exponential. And one of the things we try to uh, really advance to people who are interested in this particular story is it's not a story about crypto. It's actually a story about fraud, massive historic fraud. The crypto industry didn't invent fraud. It didn't invent bad ethical judgment or deliver executives with poor ethical composition into the world. But this story, because it was a crypto company, has all of that wrapped into it. And these are the things that has everybody captivated. And if that weren't enough, there's one more piece of this. The political entanglements faith of this story with this particular founder are unlike anything the business world has ever seen. So Greg, let's talk about this trial. Where exactly now, does it stand right now? We are, and believe it or not, we're right in the middle. I think for a lot of people, we're surprised at how quickly, not only that we got to trial, that we're already halfway through it. And actually a year ago, right here in Atlanta, I was speaking at a Web3 tech conference put on by some amazing young entrepreneurs at Georgia Tech. And two days later, this story of the scandal, the collapse of FTX began. And I saw firsthand the devastating impact it was having. Right now, we're at the midpoint in the trial. Today, the prosecution will likely rest its case and all eyes will be on the defense. The biggest question everybody is waiting for is will he or won't he? Will SBF, will Sam Bankman fraud, will he actually take the stand in his own defense? And I can tell you the viewership will go through the roof if in fact he chooses to take the stand. Greg Johnson, the CEO of Rubicon Digital Assets. Thanks so much. Thank you.